Today we're going to be tying one of my favorite early season flies. This is like a caddis emerger. I've caught a lot of fish off of it. Um, it's a really good fly to cast off the back of something big like a chubby Chernobyl or a stimmy or any kind of big hopper. Um, so I like these a lot. I like the way they fish. Um, Alright, so the hook I'm going to be using today is going to be a Daichi size 14 uh, curved hook like a nymph hook kind of, um, or in this case uh, an emerger hook. And the thread I'm going to be starting off with is a size 6.0 um, uni thread in like a caddis tan. So the first thing we're going to be doing is tying your para wing. So I'm going to start off just about an eyelet's two or length behind the eyelet. And I'm just going to be using like a synthetic post para wing for the parachute today and you're just going to want to take one um filament of it because you on these you don't want too big of a wing because you do want it to sink sometimes a little bit so i'm just going to take kind of one big strand there they come in like kind of strands so i'm just going to take one big strand there and what i like to do is i will wrap it under the hook like so and then you can take your thread and start doing some bigger figure eights on it and you're going to want the wing to sit just about three eyelets length behind the eyelet so just where I have it there is going to be perfect keep doing your figure eights this you can kind of push to the side and you can get out of your way that's the nice thing about the synthetic so we're going to go down and you're going to want to make your classic size body in your classic shape body but the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to tie off a tiny bit of black uh, extra small wire um, and once we wrap this around the hook it's going to give it a little bit of that natural um, a little bit of that natural layered looking body um, like these midges have. Almost want it like a bit of a grub look. Fatter, sometimes the better. Okay, once I got my body there, keep this pair out of the way. You can go ahead. If you have a bobbin holder, um, the bobbin cradle, sometimes I like using that in this case. Um, it's especially nice on the bigger flies, but it just kind of keeps it out of the way so you don't ruin the thread wraps that you just did. You're going to take your black wire, and you're just going to evenly wrap it up the body. I got about five wraps there, and then I got to the base of my para wing. Alright, and you're going to want to keep it tight, because if you don't keep it tight, um, it can slip on your body um, when you're casting it. So I'm just going to go ahead and do two wraps and you let go of it. I'm going to do two or three wraps. And the best way, in my opinion, to take this off is what they call helicoptering it off the side. To pop it off, you see it just came off there in two or three twists. And what that does is it doesn't leave any access sticking out to cut thread or anything. But, uh, yep, there you go. That's your, that's your body all done there. So, now for... The most important part, we're going to do the para wing. So what you're going to do is you're going to do a couple more figure eights. Pick which side you want to start on, and you can slowly do some kind of half loose threads, just to where it doesn't pull it out of the threads, your, your wing out of the threads, but enough to where you can keep it tight. And then once you get it a full wrap around, you can go ahead and take your wing and your fingers, and you can tighten it up a little bit. Then once you get a solid base there, you want it pretty stiff, um, just so then the won't slip around at all and the hackle won't slip off after you get the hackle on. Once you get a pretty stiff base there, um, you can go ahead and get your hackle. 
So what I'm going to be tying with today is a grizzly hackle. So you want to take just about the same size grizzly hackle as you take from your cinnamon colored hackle here. You're going to go ahead and strip some of the bottom fibers off there so you can go ahead and tie it off. Then, while holding your para wing and the base of your wing, you can go ahead and pinch on your hackle fibers. Do one more base around there. Get it nice and tied off. Get a good base going there. And you can finish off your wraps about an eyelet's length behind. You want to go ahead and take your brown. I like starting off with the brown because it's a little bit harsher of a color. And you can start your wraps. Then what you're going to do is pull the fibers you just wrapped out of the way. And you can do two twists around that hackle. Get it nice and tight. And there's the first one done. Not going to cut that yet because I don't want it to slip. Then what you're going to do is go ahead and take your grizzly hackle and you can go ahead and wrap it right in between your brown hackle. Okay, once I'm done wrapping that, I'm going to go ahead, pull my fibers out of the way. You can go ahead and do your final wraps. Do three wraps around the grizzly. You can go ahead and trim it. Just like so. Then we're actually going to whip finish it now before we do anything else. Um, all you need is three or four on these and it'll stay nice and tight. If you need to, you can put a little bit of uh, cement on it too, just because it doesn't matter because it will sink anyway. Pull on your uh, synthetic yarn there. About three or four eyelet spaces above it, you're going to go ahead and take your scissors and you can just trim it. And there's your wing. And just like that, you've got your caddis merger. You want to make sure not to do a tail or else it will float.